What up, YouTube? Lamar Fashion back again, and summer's in full swing, you guys, and it's really hot out there. You guys, be careful. I'm burning up in here. Uh, let's try to talk about some die cast, you guys. Let's talk green light. And I'm, I'm going to start with an exclusive, limited edition, Falcon Tires, okay, 2015 Chevrolet Silverado. That is just an awesome piece, you guys. Shout out to Dicastic. Uh, you guys, Dicastic.com. Check him out, you guys. Let's take a look at the back of the card here. Okay, I guess it's talking about some type of tire they're offering. This is an MLB exclusive, MLB Falcon Tires exclusive. So this is really, really cool, you guys. So we're just we'll talk about some green light. Um, basically, just want to show you what they're doing. Green light does limited editions. We'll go ahead and crack that first. Take a look around the casting, guys. Free the piece, you guys. Take them out of the package. They just look so much better. Of course, you have to be careful as you do that. Okay, get that down there. Let's take a closer look at the casting. First thing I notice is that it's completely dope, you guys, but we'll start with the base. This is a, I guess what you would call a motor world casting. Very interesting, as it does have a plastic base. It has rubber tires. You see it's on the lift kit. Take a look around the front. We've still got, if I can get it to focus, we still got lenses in the front. Very nice painted details. This is an awesome truck, you guys. These truck castings by Greenlight uh, are some of my favorites right now. Don't ask me why, I just really like them. And this one's really cool in the Falcon livery. For collectors, that's something that I would say we definitely like. As uh, collectors go Google for the... Uh, Hot Wheels releases of Falcon Tires cars. So much more, in my opinion, Greenlight because Greenlight's just completely awesome. All right, what else is Greenlight up to? Well, they've got a series called HD Trucks. Okay, HD Trucks. And they tend to feature some type of variation of the International Durastar, which is completely awesome. Uh, no matter where you live, I'm pretty sure in the world, but definitely here in the States, you see the thing, these things everywhere doing some of everything. So let's take a look around the packaging. There you go. It's got some mean looking rig up front. And this is from Series 5, this Goodyear International Durastar box truck. This thing is just completely dope. Here are the other releases that were available. There was a Gas Monkey Garage flatbed and the International Durastar Ambulance, which I'm just going to have to go ahead and pick up because it's pretty ridiculous, you guys. We've got a 2016 date on there. Let's free the piece. I made sure that I cracked this one carefully so that I could reuse the packaging because the mirrors on these things forget about it you don't want them contacting anything and the packaging does an excellent job of protecting against that okay first off I want to note I'm just gonna set it down and focus I just want to note that that's the heaviest green light that I have ever uh, handled this box on the back is metal. We've got a plastic base and dualies. You guys, this is completely dope. I really like looking at this kind of stuff. I'm such a nerd, and it's just a lot of fun to me. Taking a look around the cab there. One of my favorite details about these trucks. The mirrors, the side view mirrors. There it is. I think they're very nice. These are just so well done. 
we've got lensed headlamps they look fantastic there's the logo for international Durastar I guess that's what the company is called and for me being that this has the Goodyear livery it's very special because uh, their base out in Carson is an extremely short car ride away from me it has opening doors in the back Let's see if I can get that to open. There we go, a little coaxing. And they do open right up. And it looks like a container uh, truck. You guys, that is completely awesome. And now, of course, I can't get the doors to close right. There we are. All right, you guys, thank you so much on that. That was fun. I hope I didn't lose a bunch of viewers on that. But I like those, you guys. We're going to keep going. I've got two castings from Greenlight Country Roads, and that'll do it, you guys. Just wanted to share some Greenlight and give a shout-out to Dicastic. Check him out, you guys, Dicastic.com. He's got the hookup. All right, you guys. One of my favorite new castings to collect, the, the 2015 Ford F-150 XL, this time with the uh, ladder rack. You guys have seen these, Greenlight Country Roads, WTFFOR, um, he's just an awesome Greenlight collector, so if you check out his channel, you have seen these types of things before, but this is a first for me, and I really like it. Let's go ahead and free the piece, I want to free the piece off camera, while I'm just sweating everywhere, I'm literally dripping with sweat, you guys, I know that's disgusting, but it's all for die cast, you guys. So let's take a look around the casting. I really like these Ford trucks. I know you keep hearing me say that, but I think this is cool. Yet another variation. The painted bed there and this ladder rack. So realistic looking. Um, my only complaint about this casting, I mentioned it earlier on Instagram, is what's up with these lights? Um, green light. They look pink. That's kind of weird. But the rest of the casting looks so realistic. And uh, you see these around town everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, a thing that's really got me with these green light castings, look at the front end details. It's just so realistic. So I really, really like that one. That is completely awesome. And one more, a really cool piece. Very excited uh, to find that on the pegs. Um, all these except for the um, the exclusive back there, the Falcon tires. I'll kind of bring that around there. Give you guys a better look at what's going on. There we go. I think that's a little better. All these peg finds except for the Falcon tires. You can't find that on the pegs. Um, you guys, hit up Dicastic.com. See if you can find them there. But this 77 Dodge Royal Monaco... I was really pleased to see this on the pegs because this series, um, what series did I just crack? I cracked series 14. This is series 13. So to still see this on the pegs, take a look really quick around the back so you can see the other releases. Free the piece, you guys. Very happy to see this on the pegs, mostly because... The car has a 1977 date on it, so if it's true... To the real vehicle, I really like that. I know sometimes green light fudges it a bit, but that's okay. This is awesome. Opening hood. Uh, those to me look like lensed headlamps. I really like the grill texture there and the painted bumper. And this is just a classic look with like that vinyl top with the interior to match. Just a big four door boat you guys you know things that don't really fit in your jammer lens tail lights a metal base and rubber tires you guys all these with rubber tires from green light I do like that it doesn't matter what you get from green light now you're getting rubber tires and a lot of the times you're even getting lens details so you guys check it out as a collector I highly recommend it 
had a little fun cracking some green light for you guys. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Any questions or comments, please leave those below. And feel free to subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram, you guys. That's at Free the Peace. Take care, everybody. God bless you and your families. Audi 5000.